everyone, this is more Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, continuing on with this is race as various characters, so without further ado, hope you guys have an awesome day today, hope you guys are having a good start to your week. Last time around we played as Baby Daisy, and let's just say, there was one particular character that was, there was a gigantic pain in the rear. But anyway, hopefully the same thing doesn't happen this time, and we are going to be playing the final baby character in this, which is Baby Rosalina. Which I'm happy about, because I'm not a real big fan of the baby characters, I'm sure I've said that already several times. But anyway, we're at 150cc, no teams, normal items, normal com, all vehicles, random four races. Let's do this! Ooh, Choco Mountain! It's been a while since we got one of the booster course, uh... Pack the LC courses. Which, by the way, I still can't believe we have to wait all the way until freaking Christmas in order for them to release Wave 2. I would have thought they would released it during the summer. That must make you wonder why that why they even bothered with this, so they're not even gonna keep up regularly with the DLC courses. Because that's a very long time to expect people to wait for new courses. Especially since this came out back in March. And then apparently all the waves are supposed to be out by the end of 2023, but at this pace, I don't see how that's gonna be. I tell you what, if there's any way that Nintendo can screw up anything, they... Oh. If there's any way that Nintendo can screw up a good thing, leave it up to them and they will. Look what, the, I mean, I still am mad at them about what they did with Mario Maker 2. They pretty much gave up on that game, not even, the, not even a year into its life cycle. They're like, oh, we gave you enough in the first thing, so, uh, when it first came. They're like, oh, well, we hear what you're saying, but you know what, we're not even gonna add anything, lol. And that's like even right now, like, I'm doing, um, Mario Maker 2 again on my channel, but half of me's not even... I, I can't say that I'm not excited to play it again, but it's just... I, it, it's always that what could have been when it comes to Mario Maker 2 and what it should have been. It should have been absolutely fantastic compared to the first Mario Maker, which... In many regards it is, but in a lot of aspects, they really... Sh I, I feel like they sh uh, shortchanged us. Because they promised us this grand game in here. Come to find out, uh, well, after nine months, you know, we're not giving any major updates or anything like that. So yeah, it kind of ruined the game for me a little bit. I don't know, as I'm looking forward to Super Mario Maker 2 Deluxe for the next Nintendo console, whatever one that shall be. Why is it? I don't know why I keep hugging that wall like that. There we go. Looked like it was a pretty comfortable win, with Bowser and Bowser Jr. right behind me. Metal Mario playing last, facing, uh, what should I say, finishing last. If I'm not mistaken, Metal Mario is the next character I'm going to be playing as after this. I I'll have to double check, but... But even like right now, t talking about a current... Oh, Animal Crossing during the winter, nice! It's not winter time yet by any stretch of imagination, but I like this. But even right now, you get a game like Mario Shakers Battle League. I don't understand. Well, it's been 15 years since Mario Shakers Church came out. That was the last installment of the series before Battle League. You would have thought, well, they had 15 years to give us an awesome Mario Shakers game. But if you play the game longer than like a week, you can just tell just how rushed this game, that game really was. And I just think they were like, oh, at the last minute they're like, oh, you know what, we haven't made a Mario Shaker game in a while, so we're gonna go ahead and just half-ass it real quick, that way we can have a 
release a Mario Striker game, uh, so it's suckers like Tedrick85 can go ahead and buy it. Baby Bowser, get out of my freaking way. So I say Bowser Jr., not Baby. Bowser Jr. and Baby Bowser are two completely different characters. <laughs> Sorry about that. But yeah, I feel like this is becoming like a ranty video, and I'm, I am do apologize about that, but... I'm just sick of Nintendo ruining good things. I really am. Because of poor decision after poor decision after poor decision. Yeah, but... Uh, Shake... Of course they steal my bomb. Because why wouldn't they? Ah, oh, come on! Of course I would hit that one snowman. Don't you dare run into that banana, baby, Rosalina. But yeah, I do apologize for being this uh, kind of like a ranty video so far, but... Yeah, going back to Mario Strikers, that game just feels extremely rushed. And I mean extremely rushed. I know people, uh, I know, I'm, I'm gonna use uh, Mario Tennis, uh, I believe it was Ultra Smash for the Wii U. Anybody that played single player in that game uh, knows how bare bones uh, in particular single player mode was for that game. That's what kind of uh, Mario Strikers Battle League kind of puts me in mind up a little bit. It feels like we just got the bare bones, absolute minimum, minimum out of that game. And... At the time of recording this, we are going to get DLC, I guess Daisy and Shy Guy are going to be characters, but we need more than just new characters in order for that to be a better game. For one thing, we need uh, a bigger field, that be because you play on the field now, it just feels so cramped, you can't do anything. Second of all, they really need to up upgrade the online play, because online play is just horrendous. It really, really is. But yeah, it just feels like they really did not spin. I, I, I am convinced that it was a last minute idea that they had. They're like, oh, we haven't had a Mario Strikers game in 15 years, so let's hurry up and quickly make one up. That way it'll make people happy. Well, guess what? People are buying it, and guess what? They're not freaking happy. They're really not. Because they wanted an awesome game, but no, they got a... They got a bare bones... <laughs> Ma Luigi, you're kind of... Not making me happy. Okay, Waluigi. Oh, you! Come on! I'll get rid of you. And then it's time to get rid of Wang. Yeah, how you like that? I don't hear you laughing now. Wah! I swear, a lot, I don't know who came up with the idea of Waluigi, but ah, uh, that was dumb. I don't know who came up with the idea of Waluigi, but is there a more pointless character in video games than, uh, than Waluigi? I mean, really. What am I doing? Yeah, I just got rid of my protection like a dope. Of course, I get 10 coins and I'm gonna get smacked by a freaking blue shell. But hey, at least I finished ahead of WHEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEE
And yes, that's, that is, that's what he sounds like to me when he does that, that stupid crap. It's but the most god-awful, annoying... It kind of reminds me of film and stuff's review of Hook for the NES. And whenever Peter Pan's character gets damaged, that god-awful, irritating sound. That's what Lu Waluigi reminds me of every time he does that. Here we go, Mario Circuit! Sorry for the voice crack there. Successfully downloaded update data for Fall Guys. Which, I hope you guys are really enjoying that on my series. I mean, I'm glad I was able to at least finally find some way to incorporate Fall Guys into my um, uploading schedule. I just hope you guys are enjoying seeing me uh, pretty much no look not very good in that game, if I'm being honest. I mean, it's one of those games that I don't even care if I suck at it. I just love playing it. Because it's like a Japanese game show that you're playing with, like, minions. That's not... That's not even what I've even attempted to do there. My God! That could have gone a hell of a lot better. Who's behind me? It looks like Metal Mario is. Quit giving me coins! Of course, it doesn't matter if I have protection because I'm gonna get rid of it like an idiot anyway. And there's a blue shell, so... Come on, go. Oh my god! Part of this is my fault, too, for making dumb mistakes, but my word, this game has it out for me right now. And I think that's the first time I've actually flown over that sign! I don't think I've ever actually flown, I've, I've flown and hit the sign, but I don't think I've actually flown over and actually flew over it. I don't know, I get amused by little things like that. Of course, lightning would go- I'm not even gonna finish that sentence. Yeah, that's everybody hit me, like, right now. I won't fly over it this time, but... That was kind of a mess. But I do end up finishing first, followed, then second by... Wah! And then Bowser Jr. ends up, uh... Finishing third, Bowser finishing fourth. I know Bowser and, and Bowser Jr. were occupying the top two spots up until Idiot Waluigi took over, but um, Metal Mario does finish last in the standings, unfortunately for him. But fortunately, I do think I am going to be playing as him in the next video, so hopefully we can get some redemption for him in, in the next video. But um, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching us. Hope you guys are enjoying the series so far. I'll be seeing you guys again next time.